Billionaires are often the envy of society, with their seemingly limitless wealth and luxurious lifestyles. However, some billionaires have fallen from grace and lost their fortunes, becoming cautionary tales of what can happen when greed and mismanagement collide. Now, we know what you might be thinking. What makes a person bankrupt, especially when they have billions of dollars? From failed business ventures to scandals and legal troubles, the stories of billionaires who went broke are as diverse as they are fascinating. The bottom line is that they didn't plan any backups and went on and on with their money. And that's what sank their ship. In this video, we are going to show you billionaires who went broke. And you might get surprised because you will see a lot of familiar faces. So let's start. Number 10. Alan Stanford R. Alan Stanford was a billionaire businessman who made his fortune in the financial services industry, primarily through his company Stanford Financial Group. However, his extensive investment fraud ultimately led to his downfall, resulting in his bankruptcy and the loss of his billionaire status. Stanford's fraudulent scheme involved the sale of certificates of deposit or CDs through his bank, which promised high returns to investors. However, the returns were not generated through legitimate investments, but were instead funded by the money of later investors, making the scheme a Ponzi scheme. The fraud was uncovered in 2009, leading to the collapse of Stanford's business and loss of billions of dollars for his investors. Stanford was subsequently charged with multiple counts of fraud and sentenced to 110 years in prison. Number 9. Sean Quinn Sean Quinn was a self-made billionaire who built his fortune through successful ventures in the insurance and real estate industries. However, his investments in the Irish banking sector turned out to be his undoing. The bank's exposure to the collapsing Irish property market during the 2008 financial crisis left it heavily indebted, resulting in its nationalization by the Irish government. Quinn's shares in the bank became worthless and he was unable to repay his massive debts ultimately leading to his bankruptcy and the loss of his billionaire status. Despite efforts to recover financially through new business ventures, Quinn's legal battles with the Irish government and the Anglo-Irish Bank's successor, IBRC, have continued to leave him financially drained. Sean Quinn, who was once the wealthiest individual in Ireland with a fortune of around $6 billion in 2008, filed for bankruptcy a mere four years later. His fortune plummeted from $6 billion to $0 in just four years. Number 8. Jocelyn Wildenstein Jocelyn Wildenstein is a former socialite and billionaire who is known for her extravagant lifestyle and extensive plastic surgery. She lost her wealth due to her high spending habits and a costly divorce settlement. Wildenstein was married to Alec Wildenstein, a French art dealer and billionaire. During their marriage, the couple's lavish lifestyle included multiple homes, private jets, and exotic vacations. Jocelyn's love for plastic surgery was also well known, and it's been estimated that she spent millions of dollars on cosmetic procedures over the years. However, the couple's marriage was tumultuous, and in 1999, Jocelyn was arrested for assaulting Alec in their New York City apartment. The incident led to their divorce, which was one of the most expensive in history. Jocelyn was awarded $2.5 billion in the settlement as well as $100 million a year for 13 years. Despite the large settlement, Jocelyn's spending habits continued, and she reportedly burned through her fortune with reckless abandon. In May 2018, she declared bankruptcy, claiming she had $0 in her checking account. Number 7. Vijay Malia Vijay Malia was an Indian businessman and former billionaire who made his fortune primarily through his company, Kingfisher Airlines. However, his financial mismanagement, a series of scandals and legal battles ultimately led to his downfall. Malia's Kingfisher Airlines was once one of the largest airlines in India, but it suffered from financial troubles due to high operating costs, heavy debt, and fierce competition from other airlines. Malia's mismanagement, including the expansion of the airline without adequate financial planning, contributed to its eventual collapse in 2012. In addition to the airline's collapse, Malia was also embroiled in several financial and legal controversies. He faced allegations of fraud, money laundering, and tax evasion, among other charges. In 2016, he fled to the UK to avoid arrest in India, where he remains in exile to this day. Before we move on to the top six, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Now, let's continue. Number six, Aubrey McClendon. Aubrey McClendon was an American businessman who made his fortune in the oil and gas industry, primarily through his company, Chesapeake Energy. 
McClendon's Chesapeake Energy was once one of the largest natural gas producers in the U.S., but he took on massive debts to fund the company's rapid expansion. In addition to the mounting debt, McClendon also engaged in high-risk financial strategies, such as using his personal stake in the company as collateral for loans. The company's financial struggles, along with allegations of insider trading and antitrust violations, led to a series of investigations and lawsuits against McClendon. He was forced to step down from his role as CEO in 2013, and the company ultimately filed for bankruptcy in 2016. Number 5. Bjor Golfer Gunnitsman Gunnitsman was once the second richest man in Iceland through his investments in the country's banking sector. However, when the global financial crisis hit in 2008, Iceland's banking sector was hit hard, and many of the country's banks collapsed under the weight of their massive debts. Gunnmanson's investments in the sector, which included stakes in Kaupthing Bank and Landbanksky, resulted in significant losses for him and his companies. As a result of these financial setbacks, Gunnmanson was forced to sell off many of his assets and step down from his positions of power in the companies he had invested in. Gudmundsson then filed for bankruptcy, and Forbes revised his net worth from $1.2 billion to $0. You will be surprised to know the number one name on this list. Number 4. Patricia Kluge Kluge invested a massive amount of money, which she got from her high-profile divorce settlement into a vineyard. In the early 2000s, Kluge began expanding her winery, investing heavily in its infrastructure and production. She also acquired a nearby estate and began building a lavish mansion on the property. However, her investments in the winery along with the 2008 financial crisis and decline in real estate market left her heavily indebted. Kluge attempted to sell the winery and other assets to pay off her debts, but she was unable to find buyers willing to pay what she believed they were worth. In 2010, her winery was sold in foreclosure, and she filed for bankruptcy soon after. She lost her billionaire status, and many of her assets were seized to pay off her debts. Number 3. Ike Batista Oil baron Ike Batista was once the world's seventh richest person with a net worth of over $30 billion. However, he suffered a dramatic fall from grace, losing almost his entire fortune and becoming a cautionary tale of hubris and overconfidence. He was known for his ambitious plans to develop Brazil's natural resources and his bold predictions of continued growth and profitability. However, the reality proved to be much different. Batista's empire was built on a foundation of debt, and as economic conditions worsened, his companies began to falter. His flagship firm, OGX, which was focused on oil and gas exploration, turned out to have significantly less oil than Batista had predicted, leading to a sharp decline in its stock price. As his company's share price plummeted, Batista was forced to sell off assets to raise cash and pay off debts. However, this only exacerbated the situation, and eventually he was forced to declare bankruptcy in 2013. We are now down to the final two. Number 2. Bernie Madoff Madoff is credited with running the biggest Ponzi scheme ever. Madoff's Ponzi scheme, which he ran through his company, Bernard L. Madoff Investment Securities, defrauded thousands of investors out of billions of dollars over several decades. Madoff's scheme worked by using new investors' money to pay returns to existing clients, giving the impression of a successful investment portfolio. However, in reality, Madoff was not investing the money at all, but simply using it to pay off earlier investors and fund his lavish lifestyle. The scheme continued for years as Madoff gained the trust of wealthy clients and used his reputation in the financial industry to maintain the illusion of success. The fraud eventually came to light in 2008, when the financial crisis caused many investors to try to withdraw their funds from Madoff's firm. Madoff was unable to meet these demands, and the scheme unraveled, causing billions of dollars in losses for investors. Madoff was arrested and pleaded guilty to multiple charges, including securities fraud and money laundering, and he was sentenced to 150 years. Number 1. Elizabeth Holmes Now who expected this? Elizabeth Holmes, who was once considered a rising star in Silicon Valley, is now facing fraud charges. She founded Theranos, a blood testing company that claimed to revolutionize patient testing and treatment for diseases. The company claimed to have developed a revolutionary blood testing technology that required only a few drops of blood. However, investigations revealed that the company was far from delivering the promised technology. In 2015, Forbes named her the youngest and wealthiest self-made female billionaire. But after the truth about her company's technology came to light, Forbes revised her net worth to zero in the following year. What did you think of this list? Did we miss a name? Let us know in the comments. 
And while you're at it, join the league of people with a taste for the finer things in life and subscribe to our channel for a regular dose of awesomeness. We'll be back again with another amazing video soon. Peace out.